So just like that, ladies and gentlemen, everybody's excited about the upcoming Call of Duty Black Ops Sheik game. I got a bunch of stuff that I want to share with you guys in this video as well, because apparently a lot of people are saying it's Joe over, just let it go, bruh. But a lot of people are also excited because we, we got information about trailer, teasers are dropping left and right, there's a video that I want to share with you guys in this one as well, and we got a lot of stuff coming up here that, uh, that you might not have seen uh, as well. And we also have some gameplay leaks to talk about, but first of all, I want to talk about this one. So, uh, the tagline is going to be the truth lies, right? And yeah, I, I know a lot of people thought that it was going to be like, hey, uh, forget the BBC bundles. Bruh. But sadly, that's not the case. And here on this one, this is what we're hearing. So, for those asking, Call of Duty Black Ops Shakes. Guys, wait for it, okay? Like the video. Let's go for six likes on the video if you hope that this game is good. <laughs> We, we just want good games, man. Don't you want good games? If you just want a good game, drop a like, dislike the video if you if you don't want good games. Black Ops 6 will be available on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC, okay? It is not confirmed whether it will be on last gen or not. Just like that, a lot of people started shaking, and a lot of people are also saying, yeah, yeah, bro, like, just, just let it go, bro. Just let it go. It should not be on last gen. And, and I want to know, like, if you play on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One or not. I want to know how you feel about it. But apparently quickly after a man comes out says that my dad works at Activision before I show you the video apparently this is another clip that's going on my guy why so tight why are, why is the font so tight just make the font stretch a little bit bro just make it stretch a little bit so it, it, it's more believable like the video if you agree so yeah that's capity cap but quickly after guys this what happened so check this uh, PS4 players sit down PS5 players Xbox Series X players sit down. So new, GameStop has listings for Call of Duty, Call of Duty Black Ops 6 pre-orders, and it mentions a PS4 version. Yeah, it's coming on the PlayStation 4, and right after that, <laughs> and right after that, sick is dropping the last gen Black Ops 3 image saying uh, by saying this is Black Ops 6, and, and man says that no, please just let it, let the old gen go. History repeat itself. Yo, could you imagine we get like another last gen Richtofen version this time as well? That would be crazy. And this is by far the most insane story. Before I show you the video, okay? Some Treyarch devs working on Call of Duty Black Ops 6 have tweeted that they have been playtesting Black Ops 6 for over two years now. Yeah! Oh, my, my bad. Don't play the fail sound effect here. What? Y'all sick is crazy? Like, y'all sick is happening. Yo, say psych right now, bro. Say psych right now. This game better be the best, bro. This game better give me a lap dance. This game better give me a BJ or else. Or I'll want it. Or I'll want it. But roll this one. Check this. Ladies and gentlemen, what you're looking at is the official reveal for Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Officially revealed by Call of Duty over on social media, this is captioned with the words, a dark new chapter of the Black yes. Ops franchise wow. begins. Call <clears throat> you can see, like, you can hear in the tone that the man is shaking, oh, though. Oh, I'm shaking! Yeah, he's shaking, though. He's shaking. Call of he's Duty shaking. Black Ops 6. And if you couldn't already tell, that artwork we're seeing on screen is what Microsoft teased many weeks ago as part of the their Xbox showcase on June yeah. 9th where it was teased that this game would have its own showcase following and Crazy. this is the exact know, image that they posted but now the logo is no longer redacted and we can see that it is Call of Duty Black Ops 6. It's not Call of Duty Black Ops 5. It is 100% Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Let me know what oh, you guys think and if you're <laughs> excited you need to smile. Yeah, it has the same energy like the Fast and Furious uh, movie series, right? One less right, one less Black Ops game it's gonna be a one lash black list listen man if i could i would only I, I i listen black ops i'm just saying bro i'm just saying black ops games over modern warfare games every single day bro treyarch over infinity tart every single day like the video if you agree man Smash that thumbs up button right like now video, to make like sure you never miss any videos on yeah. Black Ops 6. You need to make sure. We're going to definitely live stream and see like uh, see the de devastating reveal. Definitely. So you're subscribed. But this comes hot off the press. The teasers <laughs> of marketing for the game have ramped up so much over the last 12 hours, which has equaled the logos reveal that we're seeing yeah. right now. Not only do we have the official logo reveal, but on your screen right now is the oh, official wow. cover art for Black Ops 6. This was actually leaked very late last night in a yeah. blurred and watermarked version but now, now uh, honestly it does look very good but 
man, like, I just hope the game is good. Like, okay, do you guys believe this statement that apparently devs are saying they have been play testing the game for two years? Now, for sure, like, the devs are making the game and they're play testing uh, at the same time as well and, you know, checking out the levels that they're building in the game. That part, yeah, understandably, it makes sense. But, like, what you're saying right now is that the game was done kind of like two years ago and they have been play testing it. I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know about this one. Perhaps, like, uh, perhaps uh, this game is gonna be getting like crazy amount of bundles uh, like the the, the friendly UAV Maybe it's gonna be having so many friendly UAV online additions. Maybe that's what they have been working on Listen, man. I don't know this game if this game was done almost two years ago And you have been play testing the game ever since this game better have 40 ass multiplayer not not ass but 40 good ass multiplayer maps at large, okay like the video if you agree now we have it in all of its glory and we can see that they are returning to that classic Black Ops 1 soldier art posing in that sitting bull pose. But the main character for the box art has had his face redacted, which I think is a very, very cool touch. So we don't know exactly who it is, but we have some suspicions and I'll go over to that in a moment. In my opinion, I absolutely love this artwork. It just screams nostalgia whilst also feeling very modern. Yeah, the craziest yeah, yeah. part is that the... Hopefully they do not make the game for a modern gaming day audience. Do you have a modern gaming day audience game? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I hope they do not make this game for a modern gaming day audience, man. The official reveal of the logo wasn't act- I mean, they can, but like, what I mean is that I hope they do not forget the traditional gaming audience as well, bruh, because everything is going modern and modern, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, they, they're trying to include everybody, but they exclude everybody, all of us, right? Like the video if you agree actually from Call of Duty themselves, but it was actually found within newspapers early this morning in New York. As part of the crazy Ooh. viral marketing website that we saw launch yesterday, oh. not only did we get a third video on Channel 6, the posters yeah. we see within the teaser website- uh, Zombies information coming up as well itself were Wait being it. plastered in New York City in real life. And people were coming across them where it looks so genuine, like as if it was a real life headline, all leading you to visit the secret teaser website, which- And, and right now I'm also hearing rumors that this game is also gonna be having the September 2001 mission as well. Oh shit! Oh shit. I don't know about it though. I don't think like Activision is gonna let you fly the, uh, fly the plane and you know what I mean? Like train go boom after that, nah. No, 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 that's, they don't have the balls for it, bro, like, you know, they're, they're having Teletubbies uh, skins in Call of Duty, King Kong bundles, uh, BBC online bundles and all that, like, nah, bro, like, these suckers, uh, nah, these suckers ain't got the balls for that, so I, I don't think that's gonna happen, to be honest still has the chance of having more teasers later today. But following on the next step in the marketing teasers with Trail and Activision is that they have special partnerships with multiple of America's most popular newspapers, crazy, where inside crazy. of today's newspaper was a mini newspaper that was dedicated to exploring the lore and story behind Black Ops 6's narrative and the marketing storyline has been going on throughout the website, where the wild, main headline wild. shows that Mount Rushmore has been defaced where we have the truth lies and the Cerberus logo stamped everywhere. But on the very back page of these newspapers, you can see the full-fledged Call of Duty Black Ops 6 logo with the Cerberus heads and a link to the teaser website. And it is truly incredible how Call of Duty have been able to do the marketing for the game this year, taking it to such a massive level that they have posters around New York City and partnerships with newspapers to print newspapers dedicated to the storyline within the Black Ops 6 narrative, which is absolutely incredible. Yeah, my man got hit in the G-spot. You can tell, bro. Like, he, he, he's gone, bro. It's over. <laughs> Listen, man, I like, I'm, I'm intrigued. Like, I'm hella intrigued about this game as well. I hope the game turns out to be good. I want another banger as well. From Tre and it's Trek. Let's be real, it's Trek. Trek is by far the only studio that's that's left at, 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 at for making good Call of Duty games or decent Call of Duty games. All their games so far have been good, except for Black Ops 4 and Black Ops Cold War, which were which were uh, getting like mixed feedback because yeah, they weren't as good as Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, and Black Ops 3, right? But still, those games, Black Ops 4 and Black Ops Cold War, they are infinitely more fun. I'm not saying like in terms of con uh, I'm not saying like better or anything like that objectively because objectively that's like one thing but subjectively it's another right 
but objectively and subjectively, let's throw both of them in the mix, okay? Like, yeah, even Black Ops 4 and Black Ops Cold War has been more fun than whatever garbage Infinity War has been producing, because, like, they produce garbage, and then they're like, hey, give us feedback, and the fan base gives them feedback, and then they're like, hey, we're not gonna listen to your feedback. Yeah, Infinity War did that. They, they did that. They don't care about their fan base at all. They literally did that, and they are the ones that actually brought in the friendly UAV onlines and the BBC bundles, the Teletoby bundles, the King Kong punches, and all that $100 bundles and all that crap. I know that's in, like, Modern Warfare 3 with Sledgehammer My Balls, but still, like, it's under the uh, Infinity War uh, saga as well, right? Uh, but, I, but I get it, like, it's Activision, and now it's, like, Phil Spencer, uh, not Phil Spencer, but Microsoft as a whole as well, right? Now on top of but, that, but still, like Black Ops is like the only good game left right now, and I want to show you guys this before I forget, like about the about the zombies, okay? About the zombies from the release of the game itself, which is rumored to be at the end of October. So mid to late September is when we could potentially see zombies. But who knows? Mm. They could very well give us a slight teaser of both of these during the June 9th reveal. Let's talk about all that we know so far. Rumored. Yeah, I, I hope that I hope that zombies get like at least three or four maps at launch, man, because right now we're hearing we're only gonna be getting two maps man that two maps y'all sick is crazy man y'all sick is be making billions and billions of dollars and i hope it's a round based system a, a round based map i hope it had a it has a zombie screw as well like the video if you agree man if or or you just simply want to play the special with, with the specialist or you simply want to play with the bbc bundle skins or the teletoby skins yo could you imagine like playing with like teletoby skins in call of duty yeah, bro, like, that couldn't be me, bro. That couldn't be me. But, guys, check out this video on the screen because a lot of people are also <laughs> mad with X Defined. And on the left, apparently, Phil Spencer is looking to buy something else as well. Yeah, so check out both of these videos and I will see you right there.